Okay guys, so I've had a Roomba 980 for a few months now, and now that Dyson have something to add to the robot vacuum cleaner world, I thought it was only fair we saw how they both stacked up against each other. So, Roomba 980 versus Dyson 360i, let's do this. Okay, and for the first test, it's the popcorn test. Let's go head to head. Both the Dyson and Roomba seem to get off to a good start. However, after a few seconds, the Dyson does seem to get a bit confused just before leaving a trail of popcorn behind. The Roomba, on the other hand, did seem to pick up most of the popcorn on its first pass. The Dyson also seemed to have problems getting popcorn stuck in its brushes just before giving up completely. And after checking the bottom of both vacuum cleaners, the Roomba seems clear whilst the Dyson still has some popcorn in its brushes. So it's a good start for the Roomba. Okay, in test number two, let's see how these robots deal with low furniture. Using a set of drawers with access height of 11 centimeters at the bottom, the Roomba seems to clear it with ease with a couple of centimeters to spare. And now the Dyson 360i. Unfortunately, it couldn't make that 11 centimeter pass under the set of drawers. What it may lack in diameter against the Roomba 980, it's unfortunately gained in height. And furthermore, the Dyson does hit furniture quite hard when it's heading for it straight on. And unfortunately, after this test, the 360i did suffer a blockage from the earlier popcorn test, involving tweezering out popcorn from its insides. Okay, in test number three, let's see how these robots run over a rug. Starting with the Dyson, after an initial bit of confusion, the 360i does mount the rug. Challenge accepted. However, after just a few seconds on the rug, it does seem to give up completely, flashing an error message on the top. And now for the Roomba 980. Just like the Dyson, it does seem to test the water a little before taking the plunge and mounting the rug. And whilst it does seem to be struggling more on this mid pile rug compared to regular surfaces, it certainly seems determined to get to the end. And it looks like it's another win for the Roomba after successfully getting from one end of the rug to the other. Okay, and for test number four, a really, really thick ball of wool. This time we're starting with the Roomba 980 and the wool cut up and lined up on a carpet. And just on its first pass, the Roomba seems to suck it all up, leaving no remnants of wool behind. And now for the Dyson 360i. Same test of sucking up wool on a low pile carpet. And whilst it seems to be getting off to a great start, just like in the popcorn test, it's leaving a trail of debris behind. And when we explore the underside of both robots, we can see, just like in the popcorn test, the Roomba seems to be clear, whilst the Dyson does seem to be collecting, then saving the dirt it's picking up on its rotary brush. Comparing this to the Roomba, which seems to use rubber extractors instead. Okay, and it's test number five, the final test, and it's a time trial. Same size room, but which can clean the quickest. Both starting in the centre of the room, left to clean a 3 metre square area. We can see how the Roomba cleans in straight lines, whereas the Dyson cleans in a spiral, moving outwards. And the results are in. We can see that Roomba finished cleaning in 9 minutes 47 seconds, however Dyson did take longer at 11 minutes 38 seconds, which means Dyson took just under 20% longer to clean the same area as the Roomba. Okay, so that concludes my tests of the iRobot Roomba 980 against the Dyson 360i, and I think it's fair to say there's one clear winner. Whilst the cleaning performance of the 360i can sometimes be comparable to the Roomba 980, the problem with the Dyson is this is only when cleaning on an unchallenging surface, or when not trying to suck up something too big. The fundamental problem with the Dyson is it just doesn't seem to have been made to function in an everyday household. So if you did go for the Dyson 360i, it would likely only work in a household that was already clutter free, mostly dirt free and only had flat and even floor surfaces. Now the iRobot Roomba 980 on the other hand seems to do a much better job at tackling a variety of floor surfaces, plus it can get into places the Dyson simply won't fit. Plus, the Roomba 980 picks up bigger bits of debris with ease, with much less chance of it breaking down mid-cleaning cycle, unlike with the Dyson. What's more, the Roomba 980 cleans all the way up to the edges of your rooms, thanks to a rotating side brush, plus it does all of this whilst cleaning your home quicker than the Dyson 360i. And that concludes my comparison of these two robot vacuum cleaners. Now if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when I upload new videos. 